This is real star travel. The bright star passing by is Sirius. It's one of the nearest to Earth, a mere 50 trillion miles away. We're now heading towards the three little stars in a slanted row there, called Orion's Belt. Distances here are so vast, they're measured in light years. A single light year is almost six trillion miles. Orion is 1,500 light years away. That means we're traveling at 150 trillion miles a second. We're going to explore that rose-colored cloud just below the belt. It's called the Orion Nebula. There are amazing things happening inside these clouds. As we look through Hubble's eye, we're getting to see them as never before. We're descending into a gargantuan canyon of clouds. It's 90 trillion miles across. It's a star nursery. The biggest of the young stars are right in the center of the nursery. Their energy creates unbelievably strong winds, howling down this vast canyon at five million miles an hour. The winds blasted out a huge bowl-shaped cavity on the side of the cloud facing the Earth, giving Hubble and us a window on the secret life of the stars inside. The biggest star here is surrounded by a flock of baby stars, each nested in its own cocoon. The wind from the giant star is blowing so hard against these little ones it creates shock waves on their near sides and long tails behind. That's why astronomers have nicknamed these strange objects tadpoles. Inside each cocoon is an infant solar system. These tadpoles might turn into full-grown solar systems one day, but the continuous blast of wind may stunt their growth. But tucked away in a calmer part of Orion's nursery, Hubble has found confirmation that planets are forming around other stars. solar system may have looked just like this when the sun had formed but the earth did not yet exist. Perhaps this is how we and our own world began.